obviously you can see from the title what today's video is going to be, but um, I've never done like a chatty get rid of with me before, but I was feeling in a really good mood this morning, so I thought I would do one. Um, I also saw that my friend Ashley, which I'll leave her at for Instagram in the description box and her YouTube channel as well, I saw that she's done one of these recently, um, so I really wanted to give it a go, but basically I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. Um, I'm not really going to be talking that much about the makeup that I'm doing because it's not going to be like a tutorial like I would normally do. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just get on with it. I think it's going to be quite fun. I'm also procrastinating from doing uni work, so that's what this is all about. As you can see, I'm obviously not at home or I'm not at my uni um, house either. I'm currently staying with my boyfriend because while I'm filming this, we're, we've just gone into the third lockdown now. Um, so I'm back in Wales, thankfully, um, but I wanted to stay with my boyfriend because during the whole of the first lockdown we lived together, um, and I just think it works really well for both of us being able to still see each other, um, and yeah, still being able to see each other and then not having to worry about like messaging each other constantly because we're in the same house. It's really nice. I really love where he lives as well and like the the, the um, Roth Park is not that far away at all so if we wanted to go out for a walk then we could do but I'm trying to stay indoors as much as possible this time around because I'd rather not go out right now. <laughs> um, I've been doing, well I say I've been doing loads of uni work, I've been trying to do loads of uni work. I've been going through the library quite a lot. Um, to take out some books for my essays um, and those books are currently just sat piled up on the floor um, because obviously like I'm living here with Dan my boyfriend but it, I don't have like my own space so I've just sort of been putting things on the floor and then using them when I get around to it um, but yeah I've got a massive heap I can see the books from here they're literally like to the left of me I've got a massive heap of like 20 books which I won't use all of them for my essays, but I figured it's better to have them than to not have them. I don't know whether people normally explain as they go along or whether they just do it, um, but I feel like if you want to know what I'm doing, um, then I'll put one of my makeup tutorials at the top here because this is just like my go-to makeup look. I do like to set my eyeshadow at the moment. I use my same, my stay matte powder when I set it because then it just stops it from getting creasy. Um, I say eyeshadow. I meant concealer if I said eyeshadow. I like to put concealer on my face. I'm also trying not to bring it under my eyes too much at the moment as well because I did my whole eyelid first and then I get to work on my face. I've got these like tiny white heads at the moment, like here and here, and they're just sort of coming up on my skin. But I'm trying, I say this all the time, I'm trying really hard not to pop my spots at the moment. Um, it's a really, really bad habit and everyone in my family does it, but I'm attempting to not do it because um, I want to try and save my skin a little bit during this lockdown. I'm putting more makeup on because I'm trying to also do more Instagramming like I did during the first lockdown. It'd be nice if I could just go through the whole lockdown without putting any makeup on whatsoever, but I need to get on with my Instagram game right now. <laughs> so he's currently working right now as well, um, so I'm just in the lounge, chilling, doing this. Nice. I don't think he knows I'm filming a video, but I don't want to go and tell him because then he'll probably come in and disturb me. Um, but yeah, let's just get this done. I'm going to put in makeup just to uh, sit in front of my laptop for a bit, it's really fun. My hair is also such a mess right now. Um, I'm debating dyeing it dark pink. So I've had ginger hair for quite a while now. If you've been like following my channel, obviously I don't post a lot, but you can see how long I've had ginger hair for probably since would have been since I came to uni. Like obviously I dyed it ginger a couple of times as a teenager, but like I didn't have it um, ginger like for a long term. But yeah, I've had it consistently ginger now since I came to uni. I did bleach it at one point, but then that didn't last long because I got bored of it and then dyed it ginger again. Um, but I really want to go dark pink. My mum hates pink hair. My mum, like pink, 
specific thing my mum hates. Um, she doesn't like blue either because it always goes green and it looks tacky. She doesn't like green, she doesn't like neon orange. She doesn't like weird colour hair. But I figure while we're in lockdown, I might as well just go for it and do what I want with my hair because she's not going to see me for six months. Also, like around six months. Um, so I'm kind of feeling like taking a risk. But I don't really know how to dye my hair from being pink, like from being ginger to being pink. Um, and I really want to get it done by a professional to make sure it gets done right, but obviously because we're in lockdown, there's no hairdressers open, so that's fun. I also don't know which hairdressers in Cardiff would be the best to go to for that sort of thing. The only one I've ever been to to get my hair dyed was the um, the one in the Cardiff Uni, like, SU, and they were really good. That was when I got my hair balayage um, last November. But again, like, I spent 70 odd quid getting that done and then went and box dyed over it two months later. So I do wonder, like, whether it's worth it or if I just attempt it myself. It could go terribly wrong. But I feel like that's the fun in it, isn't it? That's the fun in making an impulse decision. When it goes wrong, you learn from it and then you do it better next time. But I've been dreaming about dyeing my hair or wacky hair. I really want to. I really want, like, like dark roots going into like dark pink hair. I just think it would look really cool. Um, and then it might motivate me to style it a bit more often rather than leaving it like this. Um, because I feel like you've got to try harder when you've got weird coloured hair. Not weird, but unusual. Not natural coloured hair. And I also think that while we're in lockdown would be the time to do it because then if it goes wrong, people don't have to see me because they're not really going out in public. I only really go out to do like a Tesco shop every now and then. Um, and no one's going to judge me on a Tesco shop, are they? I mean, people are going out in their pyjamas to Tesco right now, so as long as I'm fully dressed. <laughs> it is so cold as well. I don't know what it's like anywhere else in the UK, but in Cardiff right now it's freezing. Um, we've had the heating on like every day, and I've been having like, hot showers and stuff to warm up in the morning because as soon as I get out of bed, I'm so cold. I'm surprised we don't have snow here. Um, it's been really frosted. Like in the mornings, it's been really frosted over, but then that goes quite quickly. Like right now, it's not frosted; it's just really grey outside and miserable and rough. Even when it's sunny, it's cold as well. You'd think the sun would warm things up, but it definitely doesn't. I'm kind of curious how people are feeling about the new lockdown as well. Um, I've seen a lot of people posting on Instagram about it, and like obviously a lot are upset that they're struggling and they're struggling through the new lockdown. But I'm curious as to like what the general consensus is. I did have to, well I didn't have to, I, I kind of posted an angry story yesterday because I saw someone that, they were obviously struggling, don't get me wrong, obviously struggling with coming to terms with the fact that we were in lockdown again. Um, but they were posting conspiracy theories on their story about how Covid isn't real and that people aren't dying from it. Um, and it really annoyed me because I know people that have Covid and that are sick with it and I know people locally, like I've heard in the news of people locally that are dying from it. You see the numbers, you see the statistics, my mum works at a school, she has kids going off sick because of Covid. Um, and yet people are still convinced that it's not real and that it is just the flu, which <laughs> just seems silly to me because I think it's pretty evident by this point that that's not true. Um, and people going around spreading that sort of, those sort of lies are just encouraging others to make silly risks. So that's fun. So I got kind of annoyed about that. I'm feeling okay about this lockdown to be honest. I was worried at the start because I didn't think I was going to get back to Cardiff. Um, but then once I, as soon as I was back here I was fine. But Boris didn't really talk about whether uni students could return or not. He just sort of ignored us in the um, announcement, which was annoying because then I spent the rest of the night trying to figure out because he announced it on the Monday and I was meant to be going back to Cardiff on the Tuesday anyway um, and I spent the rest of Monday night literally trying to figure out whether I'd be able to travel the next day still or whether I then had to change my plans and stay in Swindon and try and finish my course from home which thankfully I didn't have to and I did get an email from the uni like two days later saying that we could still return but it was just a bit annoying because it made me feel like an afterthought I feel like they completely forgot about uni students when they did the announcement and I was really stressing that night I got 
four hours sleep and then ended up doing like an eight hour drive the next day as well. So it wasn't the best day, but I'm back and I'm safe now. I wonder if there are, I know there's other, obviously like other students are upset about not being included in the announcement. Um, but if there were other people in similar circumstances to me where they were literally planning on returning the next day and then couldn't or like were afraid to, I was actually like coming up with a plan while I was driving back to Cardiff <laughs> as to if I got stopped at the bridge how I would get over the bridge because I wouldn't want to turn back and go home because um, it literally got to the point in my like rationalising stuff that I thought to myself if I can't get back to Cardiff to get library access so I can do my essays I'm gonna have to drop out of uni because I will fail this term um, and I'm the sort of person that's kind of like all or nothing um, I don't really want to do a half assed effort, like if I'm doing my degree I don't want to come out with a third or a 2-2, two -two. I want to get a first or a 2-1 um, because it would be silly to come and do three years and then not get the best result possible out of it um, so yeah, I'm a bit of a try hard <laughs> but that was why I wanted to come back to make sure that I was still like trying my hardest and I had access to the best resources because I've been paying nine grand for this so I want to be getting my nine grand as well even though I'm definitely not at the moment but I wanted to be a little bit closer to it at least that concealer took me ages to do I've been doing it with my fingers recently because when I've been blending it out with a beauty blender it hasn't really given me the coverage I want and it's really bad I've also got my like most pale foundation that I used at the moment I've stopped mixing it because it was getting it was too dark for me when I mixed it and I'm using a beauty blender right now as well instead of that brush I was using because I want things to look a bit more natural so I want my concealer more full coverage and then my foundation more natural if that makes any sense whatsoever and I know I look a bit pale right now but then I am going to bronze it up a little bit with some bronzer in a minute if you follow me on Instagram you'll see from a post I did the other day that I got a new phone um, and I'm really happy with it. I'm not sure, obviously, how this video quality is going to turn out. I'm hoping it turns out good. Um, but I did so much research. I woke up in the middle of one night, really stressed because the phone I did have kept crashing, and I couldn't take pictures on it or videos on it without it crashing as well. Um, and so, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning after I had like two hours sleep, researching new phones and. My family members, so it's, the phone I bought is an Oppo Reno 4, which loads of people probably haven't heard of. It was kind of like, um, if you've heard of Huawei, they, when they like came on the scene, it's kind of like that sort of brand that's come from um, Asia, and a lot of people haven't heard of it because it's not quite mainstream. Um, but my parents and my sibling, my younger sibling bought themselves an Oppo about six months ago and they just kept raving about how good it is because my family have been a Huawei family for a couple of years now, maybe four years but they stopped using Huawei when they dropped Android so Huawei now has their own operating system I realise I'm getting really geeky about phones right now but I love phones um, so that's why my family stopped using Huawei and then they've gone on to Oppo because that is Android um, still my parents love and so I thought I'd do some research into how I could upgrade from the phone I had which was a Huawei Citizen Times P20 Lite um, into a phone that would be better for me for obviously content creating for Instagram my lips are so pale my lips are so chapped at the moment as well and content creating for Instagram and better for um, taking videos for YouTube because I was going to buy myself a DSLR um, and this, even though it was more expensive, I think I've got more money's worth because obviously now I can use my phone properly um, as an actual phone and not have to worry about the um, like battery life and all this sort of stuff. It's got a massive battery and it runs really smooth as well. I just think I've lucked out on what I got. Um, the camera quality is really good. It's got really good editing software and yeah, I just love it. <laughs> I. I don't think I've really put this phone down since I bought it and it cost me about 300 quid so for the quality that I'm getting which is like an Apple camera I just think that's one as you can see my uh, roller lash mascara is running out a lot but I, <laughs> I get to that stage where I just can't bin it yet because it's not quite empty 
um, and I kind of like the like really natural blush look where you've got basically no mascara on it. And the only other mascara I have is my NYX Climax mascara. It's like a little sample I got for free. But I don't want to use that one because it's so clumpy. Like it just makes my lashes look really thick and heavy, and there's no point to me curling them because it just pulls them straight back down again. Um, and I've got quite straight blonde lashes, so I need I need the curl. I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing, but you definitely can't. But yeah, I've got a whole list of things that I need to like top up on. So I need to get myself a new roller lash. I need to buy myself some new Nightmare mats because mine have absolutely fallen to pieces. But at the same time, like I can't justify spending money on that sort of stuff right now because we are in a lockdown and no one knows how finance is gonna go so I'm sucking it up and using the last dregs of everything I've got <laughs> until I get a bit more financially stable <laughs> but yeah my student loans must be coming in on the 11th um, so that's good it means I'll actually be able to do proper food shops and stuff I don't know if any other students experience this, but like, or do, whether I just budget really badly, but does anyone else really struggle that last week, like getting through to the next loan lasting? Um, because I did write out a budget um, at the start of the year, because obviously last year I didn't budget well. I did a video on uni finances and stuff, um, like about a year ago maybe. And yeah, I did not budget well last year. <laughs> got stuck with basically no money so living in really expensive accommodation and I didn't save any of the money that I had from working over Christmas um, so my parents ended up basically bailing me out by the end of the year um, I did end up being on BBC News about student finances as well because Covid screwed me over financially um, when I was in lockdown I got stuck living in Cardiff well not stuck living in Cardiff but I remained living in Cardiff because I was hoping things would go back to normal sooner and they didn't and then couldn't return home because it was too late at that point. Um, but where was I going with this? Yeah, ended up with no money <laughs> over the summer. I couldn't even afford to pay rent. Um, my parents, we weren't sure if my dad was going to lose his job because of Covid so I didn't feel like I could ask him for money. Um, so I just sort of ended any penny I got over the summer went towards paying bills and rent and then the rest I put aside and then that got me through um, September and October until my student loan came in and now I'm doing a bit better like I would say I'd say I'm doing better now financially I mean it's only a week until I get it to come in and then I'll be fine but even then I do just wonder like Am I budgeting badly or are people having the same issue as me? Because I don't, it's not like I go out every week buying new makeup and stuff. You, you can see consistently in my videos and my, like on my Instagram that the products I do and the looks that I do, I use the same makeup all the time and I've had it for years which is really bad for my skin but if I can't afford any stuff I can't. Um, and yeah, I just wonder like, whether I spend too much money on food, or if everyone has this issue. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you're a student and whether you make it through all your loans like on time, whether you have leftovers or whether you struggle massively. So I'd be interested to hear other people's opinions on it. Oh, just for context as well, I get the minimum, I get the minimum grant because there's literally nothing special about me. I don't have a scholarship. <laughs> my mum's a teacher, so my family earns enough for me to be within like that last um, threshold, so I get the minimum. But I do have three other siblings, so I try not to take money from my parents as much as possible because they are still supporting the others. Um, but yeah, that's a personal choice. Like I could easily ask my parents for money and I feel like they would work to help me, but I'm trying to be as independent as possible while I'm at university. Um, which I think I might have I might have talked about that on my other video. I have so so many plans and goals for this year when it comes to like YouTube, Instagram, uni, um, 
um, just my general life, like all the stuff I want to get done. Um, and I'm really hoping that I actually crack on with it and I don't spend the year like fucking about like I did last year. Because um, I did get that panic. I don't, I don't know if other people get this as well, but I got like that New Year's panic when I realised another year had gone and that I'd done literally nothing in the year and I feel like there was loads of stuff online about positivity and being accepting of that because obviously Covid um, was stopping people from doing the stuff that they wanted to do but at the same time like mentally I feel like I was really drained because I didn't get anything done which disappoints me quite a lot um, I like to at least accomplish one thing each year um, and yeah, I definitely let myself down in 2020. So this year, like, I want to be getting fast in uni, which would be great. Because I kind of achieved that last year and then let it slip towards the end. Thank you, Coop. Um, I want to get some more subscribers on my YouTube channel and make videos more often. And just be more myself. Because right now, <laughs> I don't know if people can tell. I feel like my friends watching these videos can probably tell. I'm not being myself. I'm trying to be. Um, but I'm very toned down right now. If you know me, I'm a weirdo. Um, and I'm definitely not behaving like one. Because, I don't know. People like weird people. No, obviously people like weird people. But on YouTube, do people like to watch weird people? Because I would love to know. If you want me to be more myself, let me know. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a funny person. I've got quite a dark sense of humour. Um, that like comes out sometimes and I think it can scare people because I look quite innocent and I don't know, not like I would joke about stuff like that. Um, but at the same time like I'm really passionate about things. So I'm trying to be more myself. That's my goal. This year on YouTube, because it's my first video of the year, I want to be more myself. I want to be able to look back at this video where I've been talking at you for freaking half an hour and be able to say that on my channel I've grown as a person and I'm more myself and you guys get to know the real me. Um, I want to do some like assumptions videos so if you follow my Instagram which I'll leave in the description box then you can leave me some assumptions and stuff on my story when I put them up and then I will do some videos. Um, I want to do some Q&A's as well so people can get to know more about me. Um, I would say I'd do the say it or shut it videos but I can't do that because I can't drink. Um, because of my IBS, but I just really want people on here to know who I am, like the real me, um, and I'm not there yet, and I'm trying to get there, um, but yeah, that's basically the end of my makeup, it's all done, I've got highlight on, the lighting's quite bad in here because I'm sat next to a window which is next to a direct road as well, um, yeah, you can't really see it that well. I feel like this side represents it a lot better. And I don't want to turn up my ring like too much or else I end up like ghost white. Um, I was going to curl my hair, but I think I might do that off camera. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, I hope you enjoyed what I talked about. I talked about random things. I had no specific plan for this whatsoever. I just thought I would do my makeup and ramble at my phone for half an hour. Um, but if you enjoyed it, like my video, leave me a comment. There's loads of stuff I'd love you to talk about um, in the comment section. I love to reply to them same on my Instagram like please leave me big comments under my pictures because I love replying I love having little conversations with people that follow me um follow me on Instagram and then you can get more involved in my videos as well and my video prep and yeah I will see you next time